Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited to share with you my latest journals that I've made. Don't they, they just look so pretty? <laughs> I really, really love how pretty these look. Look at them. Um, so I'm calling this the Rainbow Fairy Journal Collection, even though there's only two. <laughs> um, and how it came about was I bought a fairy book from an op shop and people always ask me where do you get your inspiration from and how do you decide on a theme well it was just this one book and originally i was just going to make one journal with the one book which i've done before um but i thought let's go and make two because i've got quite a lot of other things i can add to these journals um i had a bunch of fairy scrapbook paper the thing was it was too thick to be pages so I cut it all up to make tags and pockets so they're scattered throughout these journals plus there's a bit of glitter paper some metallic papers and colored papers also people um, some of my subscribers were asking me about making some non vintage journals so these ones yeah they're very um, colorful there isn't a single coffee dyed paper or a single vintage item in here I don't think um, and I just want to do this to show you as well that you can create something really beautiful and creative and interesting without it being vintage <laughs> yeah so it's a different look um, very bright very colorful very fun really love it um, this one's called fairy queen I'm calling fairy queen and this one rainbow stairway obviously because of the title this one is slightly more pink themed this one's slightly more blue themed but because they're so similar um there's just a lot of overlap and it's just kind of rainbow themed all together very colorful and i just love these covers how they look um with these gorgeous ribbons and the tags the first time i've added the tags to the closure and i just really love how they look so i might have to do that more um added a bit of bling to the cover to match the color theme and I just was having so much fun with sewing you know getting into sewing at the moment so I've done some really interesting things with the covers on these ones so let me just take off the clips or the pins so that I can open these up for you and show you the covers so I left these nice and long because they're already very chunky chunky journals so if you want to add more um, it's going to chunk up even more. So I left these really long so that there is growing growing room for you guys. Um, if anyone is interested in these journals, they are up in my Etsy. Okay, so what I've done, I have sewn all the way around except for this one little piece here, place here where I put a pocket and just put a journal card in there. Um, and I've added some lace collaging up here. So it's really fun and I just really like that um, and at the back I've created a pocket so I've sewn on a pocket as well and there's a tag that says beautiful so again this is all of that beautiful fairy themed scrapbook papers for the pockets and the tags and I'll just show you isn't that beautiful and I love how there's one here too or two there this one I really love even though it's quite simple I just love the color scheme and I love you know the title fairy queen and I love that there is this beautiful blue <coughs> sorry blue bell flower here to tie in with the blue theme and on the back of this one there's this girl back here and the tag says princess so I kind of thought that was kind of nice to put that in there like that so princess and beautiful and this one in the little pocket here we've got a purple flower so I tried to match it up with pink flowers in this one and blue purple white flowers in this one um, and I included quite a lot of uh, flower botanical cards in here journal cards that I've sewn onto coffee dyed paper because I'm thinking of it's kind of a little concept journal the idea of it being a fairy garden and this is where fairies live in the fairy garden so that's why there's a bit of a floral theme going on in these journals too with the flower tags as well so let me do a flip through of the pink one first and there's some really cute fun things in these as well and yeah we'll get to that oh let's look at the charms we've got the same charm so we've got a flower here I just like the kind of the um, not texture the oh, what's it called the 3d nature of it I don't know the dimensions of it <laughs> dimensional nature of it love this one my little favorite charm one of my favorite charms anyway the little 
colourful gem. Here's just a clear gem and there's a heart, pearl, pearl of hearts, heart of pearls, I don't know. <laughs> and they've all got a little key here with a flower on it. So, and again, like unlocking the fairy garden with a key. <laughs> all right, so they've got a bit of bling in here as well. In both, I've put like a title page image at the front. So all of the pages in the book, uh, in these journals, I just split them, I think they've got six each and they're the feature pages. And so they've got glitter pockets throughout them too. And I've just added, you know, bits and pieces here and there of bling. This one's got a really lovely tag of a fairy here and lots of them have glitter on them, which is really fun. And we've got lots and lots of lace everywhere. <laughs> And it's fully embellished. There's tags everywhere and embellishments everywhere. <laughs> um, cute little bag here with a tag in it. And corner pockets. And I've put in quite a lot of these pretty papers just for extra journaling space as well. Even though they're pretty in their own right. It folds out to give you that extra journaling space. So this was scrapbook paper with the fairy theme i think it was telling a fairy tale in the um in the script writing so i thought that was pretty cool and in this pocket page i just got a tag and a botanical journal card this is just a cute little jewel with a bird in it so it's kind of little bird butterflies flower theme going on with the fairies as well just another glitter tag and more of that beautiful paper one of my clusters with pink lace and a journal card behind it again loving the glitter this was scrapbook paper that had um, a giant kind of window and ivy or um, um, what's it called like vines growing around the windowsill um, so that's what that, why you can kind of see the sill here um, doily and we've got um, some of this craft paper. I chose it just because it has the flowers. Um, more paper opens out with the bird and the garden scenes. This is beautiful fabric. So there's some fabric flips here. And my art concept for this was that this is some of their dresses, that the fabric their dresses are made out of, the fairies. Um, beautiful paper here. I just absolutely adore it. And this paper also has some glitter on it as well. Just decorated the envelope and this is just some extra journaling space but some gorgeous metallic um, or glittery paper there this is really nice this kind of shiny glittery almost and it's on both sides you won't be able to see it on camera but it's kind of glittery paper very smooth very pretty and again more beautiful tags and I just used some images from the book <laughs> look at these cute little rabbits aren't they adorable Aww. <laughs> um, to make pockets with the leftover pieces and some pearls here again just thinking of they wear pearls on their dresses there's some quotes in here and um, just thinking about um, also the idea of home you know fairies how they live in their home their garden it's their safe place or the other idea of um, fairies living in your own home um, in your garden in your own home <laughs> beautiful bag here and there is um, I won't take the whole thing out but it's just some metallic paper again that folds out for more journaling space glitter pocket here another garden scene so I'm just for all these garden scenes I'm imagining the fairies living in these gardens so there's vellum a vellum page too again just some more bling and more different size papers for a different look some more bling here another quote card um, they all have a one of my collage notepads in it they all there's only two <laughs> So there's that. They have a little baggy thing and it's just extra journaling space again with more of this beautiful paper. This is so fun. I'm not going to open it, but it's like this really cool envelope made out of, I don't know, really thick vellum or something. And there's a floral sticker in it. In this one, there's a pink one. In the other one, there's a blue one. So I think that's just one of my favorite things in this journal. I love anything see-through <laughs> in journals like glassine and vellum. It's just some more fun things here and there. Tucked into pockets. 
and the middle page I just thought this picture was so sweet look at it oh the little rabbit is adorable and the fairy look how beautiful her dress is look at this gorgeous pocket here with the fairy more pink flowers more pink flowers and tags um, this one's kind of cool. It says without a care in the world. So kind of um, taking that fairy vibe of just enjoying the garden and being at peace. <laughs> and there's this little um, glittery camera. I like the idea of um, capturing fairies on camera it, just in this magical fantasy imaginary land. <laughs> um, and um, the idea also of capturing those moments when there hasn't been a care in your world, you know, those happy moments, those peaceful moments, those blissful moments, treasure those, capture them, remember them, um, be thankful for those. Um, yeah, so over here, just got another glassine bag with another um, note or oh, scrapbook paper that folds out. Bella Rose, I chose this because I thought maybe that's the name of one of the fairies. Her name's Bella Rose. And again, just sitting in your garden and you can see the birds and the fairies and the butterflies all interacting. <laughs> um, I thought this was kind of fitting. It's Monet's bridge playing card. And just again, that's my favorite garden, <laughs> Monet's garden. So fairies living in that garden. More bling, more lace more glitter pockets again you know fairies just living in nature and getting along with all the different animals in nature and they all they all they both have a glitter bag and they have more journaling space in there there is actually a tuck spot behind it in case you want to make use of that again just more tags and quote cards more tags more tags <laughs> So we've got some more note paper in here. This one, more blingy, blingy <laughs> items, um, stickers as well. And here again, just this is fabric that the dress is made out of. Beautiful paper here. I just love water with bridges <laughs> and the geese. Vellum pocket in this one, and there's also a paper clip because I've just paper clipped in one of my napkin envelopes and just chose one with the blue and pink theme and butterflies and flowers and all that good stuff <laughs> more items in the pocket little jewel sticker there oh, a bit of a scrap that I didn't get out <laughs> glitter tag a giant glitter tag and more note paper here Okay, and then this is one of my favorite things too. So simple, but I just added a little baggie, but I stapled it on the other side so you can open it yourself. I won't do it and pull the things out so you can, you know, decorate those with it wherever. But I was kind of thinking this is like the fairy wings or the fairies were collecting these leaves and these flowers or, or these were the items that are decorating their dresses you know making use of flowers and leaves to make the dresses so I really like that <laughs> kind of sweet another tag and just some more extra tags at the back <laughs> all right so that is the pink one let's just do a, a quicker flip through of the blue one because it is pretty similar um, same type of things that you'll see just more blue themed flowers but since there's no blue flowers really I choose purple and white I like this one it had the words once upon a time on it doesn't that look so pretty <laughs> these cute little rabbits Um, they have slightly a different order of pages um, and also some of them have the paperclip on top rather than a side. So it's slightly different layout. Um, some of the lace, like the lace was sewn onto the vellum in the other journal, but on this one it was sewn onto this paper. So yeah, no two journals are the same. Here is the blue 
envelope and it's got a, an iris in there, a sticker. So that's really cool. Love that pocket. Look at that. Just adorable. And fairy dresses. I really love, like, actually look at the pages. They're so pretty. Um, and look at this. This one's so cool. The bluebirds, the blue bells. Yeah, really love it. <laughs> more flowers, more flowers. Same things here. Slightly different bag, but I managed to find two blue ones. <laughs> An Aquabelle. So I thought there was Bella Rose and Aquabelle. So the fairy's name in this one is Aquabelle. <laughs> so yeah, I just go to op shops and look for books that have really pretty pictures and then it can just set me off like this, um, creating journals. So that's why I really love Look at this, see? Look at that. So pretty, the dress. <laughs> um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, just getting inspiration from books and it's the pictures that really inspire me. So if the pictures are pretty, I'll use them. <laughs> All right, so that's the blue one. I really, really love them both. They are gorgeous. I hope you like them too. Um, yeah, they're, they're chunky. <laughs> um, and... Whoops, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I hope you like them. Let me know what you think. And oh, I just really love looking at them. hope that kind of gave you some ideas and inspiration too about um, journals that aren't vintage because you can still really create something quite beautiful without that vintage style. Um, and just thrifting as well, like cheap um, from an op shop, a book from an op shop and just papers, colored papers, right? <laughs> um, and envelopes, use envelopes, use doilies. Um, yeah, you can pick up fabric from op shops and all that kind of thing. So yeah, get thrifty as well. Paint chips, they're free. <laughs> um, of course, there's quite a lot of other stuff in here, um, like scrapbook papers and the the stickers and jewels and the lace and and other things but um yeah just to give you an idea of what you can kind of create and look for so hope that was helpful <laughs> can't i feel like yeah this is not a journal for me <laughs> but um yeah uh hope you guys like them <laughs> and they are in my see in my etsy i'll leave a link below to willow bound journals if anyone is interested and i'll see you guys in the next video bye